My name is Janelle Young and I grew up in Beltsuber. We are at Upper McKinley Basketball Park. This is a park I grew up playing on. I'm from up the street on Cedarhurst. The last couple weeks, I've been painting this basketball court with some other people in the community, some residents, and this was a project that was about 11 months in the making, so it feels good to finally be wrapping up. <laughs> the name of this project is the Home Court Advantage Project, and that's because this is my home court and the folks that I grew up playing with, this is their home court. And I wanted us to feel like we were empowered and we had our own gathering place. That's what it used to be, and I want to bring it back to, to that. I played here almost every day of every summer <laughs> growing up. Uh, my mom used to bring me up here to shoot around. There's family ties here. I met a lot of my friends at this park. Um, even the guys who helped me paint this court, like I grew up with them on this court as well. So definitely a lot of memories, a lot of fun times, a lot of goofy times, just being kids, just being teenagers. It's kind of like a rite to passage, like playing up here, because you, you knew you couldn't have a bad game. <laughs> this basketball court hasn't been renovated in a very long time. Like I don't remember it the last time it was renovated. So um, it had a lot of cracks in the concrete and things like that, and they finally resurfaced the whole thing. So that was a pretty big deal. When I was designing this court, definitely the first group of people I wanted to impact were the people in this community because it's where I'm from. This is a neighborhood that's often overlooked by you know, just the city in general. Um, it's, it's in the cut. A lot of people don't know this court is here. So it's definitely uh, something you only know about if you live in Beltsuver or you're from Beltsuver. Beyond that, I wanted to show that like great things can come from this place and it's a reason to come back to this place. It's interesting because while we've been working on this, we've had a lot of visitors come and just, they want to know what's going on, they want to see what's going on, they know that renovations are happening, um, and now they're interested in hanging out of here. And some kids who are not from this neighborhood are interested in playing here. So I take that as a good sign, and it seems like a lot of people are excited to play on this court now. So this project took, in total, about 11 months to complete and that was from my first conversation saying hey everybody in Pittsburgh this is something I would like to do do you think it's possible and then from there it was a lot of conference calls working remotely from New York we started right after Labor Day and we are now 11 days in and we only took one day off we literally got this done in less than two weeks I wanted people to feel like they were participating in the process. So I went to our community meetings, uh, actually right across from this court, and I asked for feedback. Definitely chose Belt Super Pride for the Out of Bounds because I want people to feel good about coming from here and good about being here. Some of the other items on the court were definitely based off of the feedback I received at the open forums and when I was collecting people's thoughts and memories. I have the checkerboard, uh, one, because it looks super cool, but two, because it you know reminded me of running a marathon, winning a race together. The part that looks like it's dripping over the checkerboard looks like paint dripping, which is kind of aesthetically cool, but also some of the feedback was that this park and this court has been a watering hole. This has been a gathering place for our community. So when you think about pouring into each other and when you think about you know, being a safe space and those kinds of things, I wanted to reflect that in the art. And so that's where that came from. I definitely want to do other murals and I'm very interested in doing other courts and other sports surfaces. I've done a lot of murals in New York City and I'm hoping that this will open some doors for me to continue doing murals here in Pittsburgh. I think black artists are not as represented here. We're definitely underrepresented and especially for big work, it's important that we're, we're seen. I want them to feel like this is the best court they've ever been on. Like, this is flames. Like, I want them to feel like I have to play there. That's what I want them to feel like.